Cardi B claimed she discovered offshore trust Tasha K allegedly failed to disclose in the $4 million bankruptcy battle. So according to Radar Online, Cardi B ramped up her effort to collect $4 million owed to her by Tasha K and accused the blogger of failing to disclose multiple domestic and offshore trusts as part of her bankruptcy. According to the court document obtained by RadarOnline.com, that buttock yellow rapper asked the court to order a woman named Patricia Haynes to comply with the subpoena. Cardi B believed Haynes have answer related to the alleged trust created by Tasha and her husband. The rapper said Haynes have been attempting to invade services. In 2022, Cardi B was awarded $4 million as part of her defamation lawsuit she brought against Tasha K. In the case, the entertainer claimed she suffered emotional distress after Tasha spread vicious lies about her on her YouTube channel. The rapper testified in court that Tasha falsely claimed that she had worked as an escort in the past, used hard drugs, and that she had an STD. Cardi B submitted medical records in court to prove that the STD claim was a lie. In the end, the jury sided with Cardi B. Tasha's attempt to appeal the judgment was shut down as Radar Online first reported after her court win. Cardi and her legal team started to seize assets owned by Tasha. A couple of months later, Tasha filed for bankruptcy and listed the massive judgment owed to Cardi B. The blogger admitted in court she did not have the asset to pay Cardi the full amount owed. Tasha lists her asset in the fifty to one hundred thousand range, but her liability were between one million to ten million. In her petition, the blogger said her only asset were a, a 2021 Chevrolet Silverado, home furniture 500 worth of electronic, 2500 worth of clothes, and two Louis Vuitton purse. Cardi B opposed Tasha's attempt to discharge the $4 million in the bankruptcy. Her attorney argued defendant was given multiple opportunity to retract the false and defamation statement in the video, but defendant steadfast refused to do so. In the end, the bankruptcy judge sided with Cardi B and ordered Tasha will be on the hook for the judgment even after bankruptcy. As we first reported, for months, Cardi has been attempting to uncover information about Tasha and her husband finance. In the recent motion, Cardi said she needed to talk to the third party witness. Unfortunately, neither the debtor nor her husband, Chikna Kabi, have been truthful regarding the existence of both offshore and domestic trusts created for them. Specifically, debtor's schedule do not reveal the existence of trust, her motion reads. Cardi said that Tasha was questioned in court about the existence of any trust. The rapper provided a transcript of the hearing that shows Tasha denied she had any trust set up for her children. I don't even have trust, she said. Cardi said that during the course discovery in the bankruptcy, she had discovered the existence of multiple domestic offshore trusts that were not disclosed, including at least one trust to which appeared 30000 was transferred. The rapper said Tasha failed to disclose the existing and or testify untruthfully about the following. The Sebasco Sea Investment Trust, Cook Island, Soniki LLC Island of Nevis, the Mambaku Trust, which is Kebi Children, LIT, Gin, Georgia, Transrida Management Trust, and the Florida Joint Recoverable Living Trust. Cardi B lawyer argued because neither the debtor nor her husband, Chick. Chikina Kebi have testified truthfully regarding the existence of their trust, moving in force to seek information regarding themselves elsewhere, including from Ms. Haynes, who is obviously attempting to invade service, even though she clearly has actual notice of the subpoena. The judge yet has not ruled. Tasha was sued by Kevin Hart over allegedly civil extortion. So what comes to mind when you think about Cardi B? And this whole suing saga with Tasha K. And then I see Kevin Hart is next in the picture. What are your thoughts come to mind? Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and also to subscribe if you're brand new to this channel. Until then, we'll see you around. Thank you for watching and be blessed.